Have you ever paused to truly look at your life, to examine it, not as something happening to you, but as something you are creating moment by moment? Most of us go through life without asking, without truly questioning. We live in a dream, a fog, never understanding why things unfold the way they do. We think we are separate from the world around us, from our desires, from our struggles. But in reality, we are deeply connected to it all. So I ask you, where does your life begin? Where do you end? Are you the creator of your world? Or are you simply living according to the scripts written by others? This question is essential to understanding manifestation. But before we talk about manifesting desires, before we rush into the chase for outcomes, we must first pause. We must first wake up. Let us not rush into it blindly, as most of the world does. You see, life itself is already a manifestation. Look at the life you are living now. It has been created, shaped, and brought into existence by you. The question is, have you created it consciously or unconsciously? Most of us live as if in a dream, creating our realities without awareness. And then we suffer. We long for things we believe will free us, will bring us happiness, a new relationship, more wealth, success, power. We strive, we chase, and sometimes, yes, we achieve. But have you noticed? Even when we succeed, the inner dissatisfaction does not go away. It is as if the thirst grows deeper, the hunger becomes more insatiable. Many claim, I have manifested my dreams. And yes, it is true. What you think, what you desire, what you focus on, you attract into your life. But what is the nature of these dreams? What drives them? If your desires are born out of fear, insecurity, or a sense of lack, then even their fulfillment will bring no peace. Instead, they will bind you further into the cycle of craving. This is why I say, before you learn to consciously manifest, you must awaken to your true self. Otherwise, you will simply create more illusions, more entanglements, more suffering. Now, I know that the world has filled your minds with all kinds of ideas about manifestation and the law of attraction. Books, videos, gurus, they promise you shortcuts to wealth, fame, love, success. They tell you to visualize, to think positively, to repeat affirmations, and all your desires will magically come true. Let me tell you something that many don't want to hear. Manifestation, without understanding your true self, is like a blind man trying to drive a car. You may get somewhere, but not to the right place. The fuss around these ideas has created more confusion than clarity. People are manifesting, yes, but unconsciously. They attract the same kind of relationships, the same patterns of failure, the same inner turmoil. Why? Because they do not know who they are. They do not understand the source of their desires. I am not here to scare you or to take away your dreams. On the contrary, I want you to dream bigger, to manifest a life beyond your wildest imagination. But first, I want you to understand yourself. Who are you? From where do these desires arise? Are they truly yours, or have they been implanted by society, by your upbringing, by the expectations of others? Let us begin at the very root. To awaken to your true self means to step out of the cycle of unconscious living. It means to look within, to explore the depths of your being. You are not just this body, this mind, these thoughts, or these emotions. You are something vast something infinite. And until you connect with this infinite self, your manifestations will always fall short of their potential. You must ask yourself, what is this infinite self? Is it merely a concept or can it be experienced? The truth is, it can only be known through experience. No book, no teacher, not even these words can fully capture what it means to awaken. It is like describing the taste of honey to someone who has never tasted sweetness. You must taste it yourself, through silence, through awareness, through surrender. Start with awareness. Watch yourself, your thoughts, your emotions, your actions, not with judgment, but with curiosity. Who is this I, those desires, those fears, those dreams? 
The moment you begin to question, the journey of self-discovery begins. And as you question, you may find layers peeling away. You may discover that much of what you thought was you is simply a collection of borrowed identities, beliefs, and fears. Let these layers fall away, one by one, until only the essence remains. This essence is your true self, untouched by the chaos of the world, untainted by illusions. And let me tell you, this journey is not about renouncing your desires. It is about refining them. When you awaken to your true self, your desires transform. They become pure, aligned, powerful. You no longer create from a place of lack, but from a place of wholeness. Now, let us return to the idea of manifestation. Why are so many people drawn to it? Because deep down they have sensed something. They have felt that life is not just a series of random events. They have glimpsed a greater truth. That reality is not fixed. That it is shaped by their thoughts, their energy, their consciousness. But what they do not yet realize is that this truth points to something even greater. Their own infinite potential. Understand this. Manifestation is not about acquiring things. It is about revealing what already exists within you. It is about unmasking the abundance, the love, the joy that has always been there. It is about shifting your perspective so profoundly that the external world mirrors the beauty of your inner world. You are not here to manifest a few desires and then move on. You are here to awaken to the creator within, to know yourself as the source of all creation. This is the true art of manifestation, and it begins with self-discovery. And yes, I understand that you want results, that you want them quickly. But let me tell you, the quickest way is to build a strong foundation. Not pseudo-knowledge, not empty promises, but something real, something concrete. Step by step, we will uncover this together. In this journey, we will go beyond the superficial, we will explore the depths of your being. We will dissolve the illusions that bind you. And in doing so, you will discover that everything you have ever wanted is already within you, waiting to be brought into reality. Not as a fleeting experience, but as a lasting, fulfilling creation. This is not the end of the conversation. This is only the beginning. In the next video, we will go deeper into the art of self-discovery. For now, start where you are, begin with awareness, observe yourself, question everything, and most importantly, trust the journey. Remember, you are not here to live an ordinary life. You are here to awaken, to create, to transcend. Let us take this step together.